Hey there, bulbers, and welcome to this official honey farm tutorial to keep you busy while you're in quarantine. You may be spending a lot of time at home at the moment, and so you want to update your loungewear wardrobe. So today we're going to be making some fucking stylish loungewear for you to hang around your house in, or go to the shop. No, not go to the shops in the So, what you're going to need for this tutorial is a sewing machine. Ugh. Thankfully, both of my parents have sewing machines, so I had a choice of two to choose between. And you are also going to want your mum to be clearing out all of the things that are hanging in your bathroom and to get you this robe and be like, hey, is this your robe? And you're going to be like, oh yeah, that is the robe that I had when I was a teenager and I guess it's just been hanging in the bathroom for 10 years. Um, and so you're going to want your toweling robe uh, for this because it's fabric, um, and that's what we're going to use. Okay, so, for this, first steps. The first thing that you need to do is work out what you're going to do, and the way to do that, I think, is probably to find some clothes you already have and then look at how they work and then from that devise how your clothes will work. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. You're exactly right there Gracie, that is what we're gonna do and that is what we are doing right here. So you're gonna, okay so you've got your dressing gown, you're gonna cut off the sleeves uh, but save those for later because you're gonna want them later. So you cut off the sleeves, cut off the pockets as well, I also saved the pockets um, and then you're gonna do that thing, lay out your your clothes that you're kind of using as a guide over it to get a rough idea of how much fabric you need for each part and then sort of apportion the fabric as such. I did not have enough fabric so I kind of fucked up. Anyway, okay, so we're on the shorts now and this is what I'm talking about, right? So you're going to like lay your guide shorts uh, over the fabric so that you can draw around it and you're going to make four panels like that. That's the shorts folded in half. You're going to draw around that like this. Ah, oh, yeah, mm, nice. Um, and then once you've done that, you're going to make four. I did not have enough fabric, so I had to go and sew together <laughs> little bits of fabric. Uh, that's me stitch ribbon so that I could get enough fabric to sew together to make my Franken shorts because I did not have enough, which was foolish. Anyway, if you do, you if you're doing this, you would have enough fabric. And you're going to stencil those shorts, and then you're going to then you're going to cut out four panels of those like half shorts pieces, like boom, like that. Um, except you're to hopefully be like less scaffy and not matching as than mine because mine aren't good. Okay, those long bits there, you're going to sew those two long sides together um, and that's going to make the basis of your f entire front piece and back piece for the shorts. Um, I When you're sewing these together, right, you don't want to sew together the inside leg seam, which is what I'm doing right now because that's stupid and you don't need to have the grandfather clock. Uh, and so you, don't, you shouldn't do that because they don't need to be stitched together. But once you've got it done, basically, there's your front piece, there's your back piece. Those are the parts that you want to be stitching that inside leg seam together on. Not what, not what I was doing. I was, I was a fool. I was foolish. So, unfortunately, during some of this time, so I was recording, and then like the. Uh, Basically, I finished the shorts, and there's no footage of it. <laughs> but here is them. If you can imagine how those pieces go together to make these, then these, I haven't sewn them, but they're just like turned up um, so they can get sewn. That's your legs. I sewed a waist, like just the, the loose hem like this at the top. I just folded in and sewed along there and then pulled like this, which is the old dressing gown cord. So it has this pocket. I didn't sew this one in because I started and then I did it the wrong way and then I took it off and I was like, I'm leaving it off. But ostensibly I could attach it at some other point, although the chances are I'm definitely not going to. So the shorts are done. This is half of our loungewear outfit. And your shorts are probably done too now. Um, and I had some lunch as well, which is good. So, 
now time for the top. And in the making of the top, I will have greater clarity of what you have to do and that will also clarify what you should have done with the shorts, which you haven't really seen. Okay, this is the thing. So there's two layers of dressing gown material and then this jumper which we're using as as a stencil to copy um, which is laying on top and you can see so it's got like a little rim around the edge which is your seam allowance and that's where the knuckle be, there you go, that's where I just kind of copied around where the armholes go so that's a basic thing, we're going to sew, oh, sorry, we're going to sew around here, around here, around here, around here, around here and all right, so you're sewing those parts together and now you've got like a sort of tunic thing and that's the basis of your top, which is sweet. Uh, you need to leave a bit of neck room because you don't know how big your head is and you don't know how big your head is and you need, you need it to fit. Um, now you need to think about sleeves. You're gonna need to attach some sleeves. Uh, I turned my sleeves upside down so the wrists became the shoulders because it sort of flared out and I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, and you're gonna cut around the tops of those cuff bits so that they fit with your shoulder space uh, and then you're gonna sew those sleeves on. Um, and then that, that boom, you have some arms. You might want to like try and size it quite well so that they fit. I don't know, I didn't measure it, but it turned out fine. Uh, there you go. Yep, so there you go. Sewed it on. Sewed one on. So that's sweet. Uh, you're going to do that with the other one as well. Try not to slightly break your sewing machine. Um, not that <laughs> I did that. Uh, and then what's, what's going to happen? I don't know. Oh, then we're going to think about the hood which is the hardest bit to fit for me, at least maybe not for you, I don't know how your sewing is. But we're gonna work on the hood after we've finished attaching these sleeves. Ooh, cheeky little shot there. There you go, that's what it looks like so far. So for this hood, I traced around a stencil. It's very unnecessary, like you could definitely just, <laughs> you could just draw that by hand. I don't know why I drew around a hood, but you, there you go. And then you're gonna sew these two pieces together and invert them as you have with all the other things so that seems on the inside. And then you are going to you attach it to your top. I did some. F this took bit took me longest. This is me giving a very rapid explanation, uh, a detailed explanation about how to attach it. Basically, be careful. Measure. It'll turn out fine. Um, and then sew it on. Boom. Might need to trim away some of that neck so it fits nice. And I did that, and it fit, fit real nice. Fit real nice. Um, and that's your top. And that's how we went from like this right here to this fabulous loungewear ensemble shabam there we are styling so stylish oh my goodness i was, I was trying to lounge show you what oh, like. i'm just lounging i'm like on the phone um anyway yeah there you go it's beautiful it's stylish you could you could lounge in so many different scenarios oh there's a side shot there's a there's just oh there's a little twisty side shot is it, oh, a little punch shot, nice. Ho oh, ho, kick shot. <laughs> Sweet. Um, oh yeah, and if you really want to seize up, why not pair it with a fabulous crystal face mask? Bedazzled, gemmed, lovely. You could wear this, you could wear this at home. You could, once quarantine's lifted, you could wear this at a, at a friend's sleepover. Um, you could wear this to the spa. Imagine, you're in the spa. And, and they try and give you one of those dressing gowns and you're like, oh, wait a second. And you take that dressing gown away and then you, boom, you whip out one of these and they're like, that dressing gown, it's, that wasn't yours. That doesn't belong to you. And you're like, but I made it mine. <laughs>